You've also, I want to talk to you about this. You've adopted a pet snake. Well. So here's my question. Wow. This well, is my question. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm afraid of snakes. Um, if wow. truth be told, who isn't a bit afraid of snakes occasionally, right? You think that's why so, I don't think any of us adopt them, <laughs> right? But I saw, but I like to confront my fears. I like to sort of think, okay, I'm gonna, and, a, and a little snake went across our paths. I was in actually in the garden with my son Flynn, and, my, and I saw it. And I was like, oh my god, and he was freaking out. And I was like, and I just in, picked it up, grabbed it, and I was like, great. And I, and I had this snake, and it was actually really sweet. So I got a little aquarium for him, and a little lamp, heat lamp, and did all the things. And I had a mate who told me. If he doesn't eat after two weeks, you have to put him back. You know, I thought, oh, we'll keep him as a pet, we'll overcome. And I, it was, we named him Wilbur. I really fell in love with him. He'd slide between my knuckles. He was just so sweet. And I used to go home and think about the snake, and I'd go and play with him. It was crazy. But, um, but he was a gorgeous little thing. Anyway, he didn't eat after two weeks, so we put him back right where we found him, because I said to Flynn, well, you don't know. He might have his own little mum and dad, and could have, yeah. he could be trying to take care of a family. But... Overcame the fear of snakes, so did my son. So here we go. We're going to get one it. from a captivity. Yeah. You're going to get one. You're not going to get another one. I, I Don't get one. another one. Why not? Don't get another one. Why? First is a snake, then before you know it, you've it's grown a, a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like it's yeah, a slippery right. path, really. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to get a full back tattoo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, you know, you're at a rising. corn concert <laughs> yeah, exactly. in the middle of a state fair. No, he was very sweet. He was, it was a ring net. It was very sweet, a little thing. And it, made, and it helped me to overcome a big fear that I'd had of snakes. And actually, you realise they're more afraid of us than we are of them, which is probably true of most people, right? Not all of them. Now, Yvonne, I want to talk to you about this. You are very busy you, you, with, with so many amazing, amazing projects. And you've had your son now, William. He's 10 months old. So having a 10-month-old baby, this burgeoning career, does it ever get overwhelming for you? It gets terribly overwhelming. Yeah, it must. It gets disgustingly so. Um, we, we do really gross things in our household. I don't know about you, but we, <laughs> um, we have these terrible moments when we, my husband shows me true love because um, he has to hold a... A plastic bag under me while I pee in the car while I'm breastfeeding my child because I'm so desperate. Once is caught the limits. Uh, That's great. This is the definition of being overwhelmed when That's you're lovely. becoming a new mum. It was true love. We yeah. were dropping off my mum at the airport and um, your mum was also in the car. It, my mum is everywhere. My mum watches all the pornos. Watches all the porn. She's yeah, wow. <laughs> she goes to the bathroom. She's everywhere. Well, my mum, my mum had left the car at that point, and I and and, and our son was he was overwhelmed. He was screaming. It was and a day, to feed him. and I and I and I couldn't calm him down and they left and then he vomited on me then his diaper exploded I had poo and vomit I was topless trying to feed him and <laughs> and after 40 minutes I'd finally gotten him to sleep and my husband came in the car and he looks at me and I'm like I have to pee now now and he said well you got to go to the airport I said no I'm not going to make it he said we well, got to go outside in the parking lot and I said no there's people walking around it's at LAX and and I said you just get me the plastic bag Oh, and, wow. that, and that, that was it. We That's just, love. We just I have got to say, we just had a moment. Like I got to say, I would do that for you. I mean, yeah. I would do that for yeah. my family. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would. Hundred percent. That's it, love. True love. I also now understand why your husband needs that little bit of alone time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.